Hello there. Welcome to my iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add clips to a project and to move clips within a project. So here we are. Here's a project that I've created earlier. Uh, as you can see, it's got um, three clips in it. We've got a clip of Trafalgar Square, we've got a clip of Big Ben, and we've got a clip of uh, somebody walking over the bridge. So let's imagine that we want to add another clip to this little project. And the first thing we need to do is move the playhead to the position that we want to add the clip to. So for instance, if we want to add the clip to the end of the project, let's move the playhead to the very end there. And then we need to go and find the clip that we wish to add. So to do that, we click on the little plus in the top right hand corner here to access our media library. And that brings up the various places where the media is stored. So let's go for all. And now we can browse through the media that we have. Uh, and let's, let's add this clip of one of the pods of the London Eye. Uh, click the little plus arrow. And as you can see, that's just dropped it in uh, to the timeline at the position we specified. So now let's add another clip to the end of that clip again. And we do the same because we have the media browser open still. Let's, let's highlight the clip beneath it, the wider shot of the London Eye. Let's click plus again. And as you can see, that's also dropped the clip in. So now our little sequence, if I zoom out, it runs uh, the Trafalgar Square, the Big Ben, the bridge, close up of the pod, wide shot of the London Eye. So if we want to move a clip, we can uh, pick it up and drag it and put it into a new position very, very easily. So, so for instance, if, if we would like this wide shot of the London Eye to come before the, sh the close up of the pods, we can do that by clicking and holding, picking it up and putting it in front of the close up. As you can see, that's, that's done that. And we can do that with any of the clips. So if we want to pick up this clip of Big Ben, move it to the front of the film, we can. We can pick up the clip of the bridge uh, and bring it back there. And as you can see, it's all very, very easy to, to, to move clips around. But you may have noticed that these clips of the London Eye are slightly longer than we need. Uh, and we can either trim or split them and delete the, the excess bits that we don't need, or we can trim them right from the start in the media browser. So let's let's just delete the clips and add them again. So, so we put the playhead in the position where we want them. And let's go for the, uh, the, the wide shot of the London Eye. And as you can see, when we, when we selected it from the media browser, it brought up our trim handles again. And we can select the bit that we want by just picking up the trim handle sliding it across there you see we can and it conveniently gives us the length of the clip in the bottom left hand corner so at the moment we're at 6.2 seconds uh, and we can also trim the end there we go so that's now four seconds uh, let's click the plus button and it drops it into the timeline uh, and it's and it's trimmed to length as well and we can do exactly the same with the close-up of the pod. So let's grab the tail end trim handle. Find the bit we want. Front end trim handle. There we go. And click add. And there it is. So there we go. That's how to add clips to a timeline and to move clips within a timeline. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.